Hey, hi, hello, how are you? I am Robin D. Porch, owner and creator of Global Fashion Brokers. I create, I take risks, I live my passion, and I am a formidable entrepreneur. If you are anything like that, and you're absolutely into fashion, mm, handbags, business, and a fabulous lifestyle, then ladies, you've come to the right place. I implore you to take this journey with me here on YouTube. Go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell, so that you can always be aware when future videos drop. So now, <laughs> let's get to it. Okay, ladies, our next handbag is the Louis Vuitton Revolve. This bag is under a year old. I don't even think that I've had it quite a year yet. It is an absolutely beautiful bag. This bag reminds me of two bags that Louis Vuitton made. One of, his, one of them was called the Chica, and, and, and it's no longer available. It's been, been discontinued a long, long time ago. And the other one is the, is the Trovoli. Hence the name of this, Rivoli. Now, I'm not saying that this is those are the two bags they took to make this one. I'm just stating that based on the shape and the contour of the bag with the gathering here on the sides here and on the side rendition here, you can see the, how the piping disappears into the bag. You have the chap here and this beautiful detail where you have the lock that's hidden underneath this piece of a cheddar leather, which of course is not open anything. It's just there pretty much for aesthetics. I love the elongated handles on this bag and of course with this bag you can wear it in the crook of your arm but one of the things that I love about this bag for women that have a bit of meatier, meatier arms or bigger arms this is a good size opening to get your arms in and be able to wear it comfortably on your arm. So this bag again has not been used that much. Of course, this bag is another versatile piece. If you notice here on the ends where the leather shafts are, there are rings for the strap. So this bag can be, of course, worn as a shoulder bag, and the strap is actually also long enough to wear this as a crossbody bag. I don't believe that for the time that I did wear that I actually even used the strap. I'm almost certain that I probably did not. And if I did, I just, I just let it hang. I don't <clears throat> actually recall wearing this across my shoulder. But anyway, the inside of the bag, of course, I, like I told you before, I keep all of my bags stuffed. So I just have some heavy, heavy plastic. Of course, this is a, another, just one of those dust cloths. So anyway, this bag is lined with the textile lining. And there is a big open pocket here. And then there is another two pockets on the other side here and also here. And of course that Louis Vuitton tag there in the front. But I love this bag. I've carried it maybe, maybe twice, maybe three times, probably three times. And it was all for a total of not even a good month and a half between all of those three times that I did carry. So that's why bag has not patinaed <laughs> very much at all and just to show you the difference in between what I was speaking about earlier how my bags had not patinaed that much I thought I had left this out but I did not I put it back on the shelf is the speedy game one that I showed you earlier so if you see there's a stark difference between the patining on the speedy versus the revolving, you could definitely see that this handbag has not been carried that much. Because again, for anyone that knows anything about Louis Vuitton, when you first get their bags, the leather, of course, is untreated and it is stark white. I have seen people do something that I think is absolutely horrifying, where they take oil or olive oil to patina the leather. I would suggest not doing that. This leather is 
is untreated in its condition to where it naturally changes over time with the use of your natural oils on your hands. Like if you're a person that wears a lot of perfume, a lot of lotions, that will cause the bag to begin to patina and of course having it out in the direct sunlight. So if you do want to go ahead and get some patina on the leather so that it doesn't stain a lot, as we all know, if you've owned Louis Vuitton before, if you've seen other YouTubers talk about that or other influences or people in general, the rain does create terrible rain spots. And one of the easiest ways to adhere for that is when there is, if you are caught in the rain with a little bit of with bichetta leather, do not smear it. You're gonna take a, 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 piece, a piece of paper towel and just take the, the tip of the paper towel and lightly soak up the water. And most times when the water dries, there is no water spot. The water spots come from when people are intentionally trying to smear or wipe the water away. That is what creates the water spots. And I can say that because I made the mistake of doing that on one of my vintage handbags. I mean, the water spots on them are not that bad, but you will see that bag in a future video when I do a haul on all of my vintage handbags. But again, for this, if you want to naturally patina it yourself, you can put it in direct sunlight in, in the windowsill of your home and that will help it go ahead and patina. But for me, I love to see the natural patina over time with use. And then again, for me, seeing the, a bag that has not had that much patina, it reminds me, hey Robin, you haven't carried this bag. But again, this is the Louis Vuitton Rivoli and this is the size M. -M. Another beautiful bag, a part of my collection. So let's get the paper and everything back in here. So let's move on to the next one. <laughs> all right, let's get all that put back in here. All that put back in here. Okay. The next one is another Neverfull. I actually have three Neverfulls in my collection. You would have saw the first one that I bought earlier that was from the Louis Vuitton Game One collection. This is just your typical giant or GM Neverfull in the typical monogram of Louis Vuitton. This bag, I currently have it stuffed with a shoebox because these bags are on display here in my studio. And so they don't slouch, you know, their pools do not have a shape. They will slouch if you have nothing in them. So I just have a, yeah, I just got a Gucci box in here for one of my Gucci handbags. And of course, the lining in here is the same color, that brown, as you all saw in my Game On collection. This bag is generally heavily used to travel with because it is so large. It is so big. Sometimes I do carry it as an everyday bag. But unfortunately, it is not that often, and it's generally because it's just a big bag. So I find it with bags this big, I just find it a lot easier to use them for travel. But again, this is just another typical Neverfull. The same thing where you have the, the clip closure here. Of course, you know you have you have your flaps in here. You know you have your drawstrings where you can switch the bag in on the insides to make it smaller. And I found that when I do decide to wear it as an everyday bag, I find it a lot easier to just gather in the sides and of course, reduce the size of the bag itself. But for most parts, like I said, with bags this big, I use them to travel with. So just let me give you a close up and a 360 of the bag. But this bag, this, this never fold is very old. I do not intend to get rid of it because it is just a beautiful bag. Like I said, that traditional monogram and I generally, like I said, only use it to basically travel with. All right, so the next one is another, another never fold. And this is also in the size GM, but this is the Demir Azure. I said, well, I got a monogram, I have a, the game one, I think I want this bag in white. And now, when we travel, because we, we go on vacations and mini vacations pretty much every month. So far this year, there's only been one month that we did not go on vacation. And that's because um, I was really busy, we were doing a lot of things, so we didn't really have the time to go. But for all of those trips that we have been on so far this year, 
this is the, the never food that I've been using to travel with. But basically, I'm just trying to get wear out of it. Again, if you notice, <laughs> there is not that much patina on this one either. So I've just been pretty much carrying this one just to get wear out of it so that it's just not, again, sitting up on the shelf. And again, just like every other level full, you have the clip closure here. I also have this bag stuffed with another box as well. And of course, you know you have, of course, your August bag. So the inside of this one is just this beautiful beige white color that pretty much translucent, makes the bag translucent to me which means to me it has no transition of color because the inside of the bag is pretty much the same color as the, as one of the, you know, one of the squares here. The but anyway, it has some black fuzz in here because again, like I said, when we were traveling, my son was stuffing his sweater in here and uh, some of it was, you know, peeling off or whatever, you know, that's what the fabric does. But again, this bag is primarily used for travel. Sometimes I do carry this bag as an everyday tote. It just depends on if I'm in that kind of mood. And if I think this handbag goes well with what I'm wearing. Just to give you a close up there on the bag. And a 360 and of course the bottom is just another typical bottom of a Neverfull. Again, this is my Neverfull GM Demir Azura. Right. We don't have that many more to go, but the next one that we have is, I have one of these on the go totes, and this is in the size MM. So, one of the things that I can say about this bag, that, I, that make it first versatile is of course, when the Louis Vuitton created this bag, they created it with two handles. Now this bag, of course, here is the second set of handles. And of course, here's also the dust bag. And of course, the inside has that textile red lining. You have a zipper pocket here. You have one compartment, another compartment there. And of course, you know, it's just nothing on the other side. So when, and this is one of the first editions of these bags because when Louis Vuitton first came out with this bag, they made the handles just like this to match the corresponding size of the bag. Now, when they decided to come out with this bag again for the second edition of it, they changed these handles to a black leather. I have the first edition where it just has the original straps that correspond to the different monograms on the actual bag itself. But I actually carry this bag quite often. I, I have to be honest though, when I first saw the bag, I was joking with my cousin <laughs> and I... And it just, I have to laugh at myself and I'm like why she's laughing hysterically because I have to laugh at what I'm getting ready to say. I did not like these straps at first. I didn't understand why they had them. You know, they say oh it's so that she can be on the go. She can go from, from day to night. And I, I just didn't like it. I didn't understand the practi practicability of it. I, I just the practicality of it, excuse me. I didn't like this. I told her because I said I'm gonna cut them off. She's like, girl, you can't, you can't disagree with that bag. This bag costs so much. I said, I don't care. It's mine. Remember what I said earlier? Style, luxury, and fashion is only worth the cost or the value that you place on it. So for me, I thought it looked better without it, but I'm glad that I didn't do that because over time I've come to appreciate these, especially if I need to be hands-free for the moment with wherever I'm going. I have found that the straps do come in handy. So again, I'll just give you a 360 of the bag. You notice you have the job monogram here that's linked with the reverse monogram. Same thing here with the original monogram on the bag. And I turned it and I got lipstick on here somewhere, ladies. And then on this side, of course, is the reverse giant monogram that is also tied with the regular monogram. And then, of course, you have the reverse monogram on this side. And, of course, the straps here reversed. And then, of course, the straps on the inside correspond with that. So one of the things that I think I appreciate most about this bag is that it has structure. Typically, 
Typically, I do prefer a structured bag over a slouchy bag, and the reason for that is I know that a structured bag will not lose its shape. Whereas with never fools, you know, they, they're, they're, they're floppy, they don't have a shape to begin with because they're just meant to be shopper tops. They're meant to just throw and go and go about your day and go about your business. But one of the things that I do appreciate about this particular bag when Louis Vuitton came out with it is the actual structure of the bag, which I absolutely love that. So I didn't stop there with, because this is the size MM. I didn't stop there. I liked it so much that I ended up getting the GM size in it. And of course this, this coin purse doesn't go with this. This coin purse goes with my, my multi accessories. I'm not gonna try to pronounce the French name. My multi accessories handbag, and I'll show that one in a, in a moment. And I just pretty much have the, the keychain clipped on here because I actually saw another YouTuber with a her bag. I was like, hey, hey, that's cute. You know, you can switch out your accessory pieces from one bag to another. So again, the only difference between this one and the one that I just showed you is literally the size. They are pretty much exactly alike as far as design is concerned. The only difference is, is it's bigger, and of course it's the same thing, and of course I also have this bag stuffed with a lot of paper as well, because like I said, I have these bags, of course I just bag, I have these bags on my shelf, so I want them to have a shape so that they're not just slouching or that, they're, that they lose their shape, because you know that happens with your handbags. If you don't stuff them, they do tend to lose their shape over time. And although these bags are structured, they're not, they're not, they're not stiff. Now, Louis Vuitton's monogram is if they're not stiff. It's a very pliable bag. So anyway, same thing with these corresponding long handle straps. Same thing on the inside as I showed you with the small one, the red textile. You have the zipper pocket here, one pocket there, another pocket there. And of course, when I do carry this bag, I've carried this bag only a handful of times and when I have carried the bag it was pretty much because I was going to work with it so I, I, I was able to draw my junk in here I was able to also put my laptop in here so it gave me all of the necessary room that I needed for the meeting that I had to go to so as far as a practicality standpoint I think this bag is awesome I think the design of it is awesome and I will know that I will get continued use out of it in the future so now we are down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more pieces. But the seven of the pieces are very small, but there's one piece that I'll do last because it's big, it's actual luggage. So I, if you notice, I was talking about the, the coin pouch that was attached to my own go -to. Of course, here is my multi accessories piece. I, I, I am a a green fan. I love Hunter Green. I think it's an absolutely beautiful color. So of course I got the, the green guitar strap. And of course, you know, this is a clip here that where you would clip that that little coin chain, that little coin purse to. And of course the design of this bag was simple. It's just a plain inside with a pocket. And of course the Louis Vuitton tag on the inside of here. And of course, the second piece, which is right here, I'm actually currently using this one. This one pretty much stays on the shelf, but I'm actually using this one. Let's just give you a close-up of it. And a close-up of this one. One of the things that I loved about this is that they just didn't make this a plain guitar strap. And I know that their Louis Vuitton is doing that with a lot of their bags. They're attaching guitar straps to just about every last one of their bags. But I like how the Louis Vuitton is actually etched into the guitar itself. I thought that that was a very nice touch. I thought that it raised the element of it just being a plain guitar strap. You know, this is the same material that the Army uses for their duffel bags. So I'm currently using this one. This one stays in my purse every day and I pretty much just have, you know, a pen I here. I have chapstick, I have lipstick and lip gloss. So this actually stays in, in my purse every day dropping lip gloss and stuff all on the floor but it's okay <laughs> so one of the things that I did not show you in all three of those never fools that I showed you most everyone is aware that with never fools you get these wristlets and they give you these because there's no pockets 
on the inside of the bag. So this is pretty much like extra storage for the bag if you want to have something that you know is delicate, that you don't want to get lost in all of the hustle and bustle of an oversized bag. This is why they created these wristlets for you to put specific pieces that you can go to quickly. So this is the wristlet that goes to the on the go. Not the on the go, I'm sorry, that goes to the game on Neverfull. You would have saw that earlier. And I love that same trim that is on the side seam, top seam of the Neverfull is also on the overall seam of this one. And then of course they clash with this huge playing card on the back. And although this is the wristlet that goes to my GM, it's the same monogram, but of course with the fruit what differs between the two is of course the stamping of the game one design versus the plain monogram. So I really do love that element and I actually reach for them even if I'm not carrying the neck folds. I will take these and put delicates in them and I'll put it in another bag that I'm carrying that day if I want to have something that I can get to really quickly. And of course here is also the wristlet that goes to the Demir Azure Never Full. And I look at it like this, I'm getting an extra handbag that goes with my handbags. So instead of having three, in my mind, that makes six. And so, one of the other two pieces, I have two wallet pieces. I have the, the Pele wallet. And of course, this is really old, and, and I know I've seen videos and I've saw people do reviews and they talk about the quality issues. And we have, I have to admit, the quality is not the same that it used to be with Louis Vuitton. I remember when I was younger, my sister, my older sister, had Louis Vuitton pieces, and you could look at that thing and tell that it was gonna last, that it was gonna last truly the test of time. Now, they, they don't use the same. I, I, I for one do not believe that they're using the same materials because it shows up in the quality of the bags. But anyway, I've seen and heard other people talk about if you look right here, it's already tarnishing. Now again, this wallet is very old. I've had it for quite some time. I've used it for years and, and years. My, I got my mom one. She had, she got hers is in orange. I do love the contrast of the hot pink and then of course with also the Louis Vuitton typical apartment here. But I use this thing for years. And then I just stopped carrying it because I was just trying to get this out of my old wallets. And this one is actually older than this one. This one is so old, ladies, I don't even quite remember the name of it, but it's so big that this is actually considered a clutch as opposed to just a simple wallet. I do love it. Like I said, I carried this one for years as well. Of course, it has a zipper compartment here, just like the old one does, just like the other one I just showed you. And of course, spots for credit cards, and of course, cards right here. And this one, like I said, is very vintage, very, very old. But I just, of course, went ahead and just threw it in this collection because it was some of my wallet pieces. Now, I do have other Louis Vuitton bags, but I didn't want to make this video an hour, an hour and a half long. So I'm just bringing out some of pieces that I use on a regular basis. I'll talk about other pieces that I have as far as for movie time in future videos. So, we are down to the last two items. And so what I will do is, yeah, I'll go to the, to the, to the newest edition. Of course, here is the beautiful box that it came in. I do not keep all of my boxes. Because that's just that's just too much. Of course, here's the dust bag, you know, here's your ribbon and stuff, you know, it's all tied up and everything, your tissue paper, your receipt book and all of that stuff with your receipt and everything in it. Like I said, I do not keep all of my boxes. It's just that's just too many boxes to hold on to. Some of them I keep, some of them I I, I just get rid of. I'll I'll I, I throw them away or I'll gift them to someone, or if I'm gifting a family member or someone a little bit ton, and if I have the box that that bag came in, I'll put it, I'll put the bag back in that box and gift it to them. So anyway, the newest addition, the newest baby to my Louis Vuitton collection is the Louis Vuitton Triumph. I hope that I'm pronouncing it correctly, but you all ladies, this is an absolute divine work of art. I'm going to give you a close-up of this bag. 
these inlaid pieces here are actual wood. And everywhere where you see a little ribbon has Louis Vuitton stamped in it. When I say that this bag is honed on to the amount of luster and the amount of detail that went into crafting and creating this bag, it's just stunning. It is absolutely stunning. It has the same locker here where you push in these two to open it up to reveal this beautiful light microfiber lining that is just absolutely beautiful. Here is, of course, the, the strap. This bag has not even been used yet. The plastic is actually still on the hardware here and here. I have not even removed the plastic. And this is the inside of the bag. When I say absolutely gorgeous, just beautiful, beautiful. This bag also comes with a Louis Vuitton mirror. It's stamped with Louis Vuitton on the little mirror, guys. Beautiful piece. Beautiful piece. The artist for Louis Vuitton that created this, I cannot pronounce his name, but I do not want to butcher his name, so I will not even try. But for those of you all that may not know, when Louis Vuitton started out, they were making luggage. Back in those days when the only way that you were able to travel was by ship. And when families traveled, they took just about their entire house with them. And in order to do that, they don't have they didn't have modern day suitcases like we had. They had trunks. So Louis Vuitton was well known for their trunks that could stand the test of time. And so people would travel with their trunks with everything literally everything that they needed because they would be gone for months and months and months, sometimes years at a time. So they wanted to make sure that they had everything that they needed to set up aware where they were going. And Louis Vuitton was well known for creating trunks. So if you're into a Louis Vuitton store, if you've ever saw other people talk about trunks, those trunks can go $20,000, $30,000, 40000 $50,000, $60,000, where one of the designers for Louis Vuitton decided to implement the features of a trunk into a handbag. And this is how this handbag came about. I love the, the chaps that are here on the side that fold over here, right here and here, and then they're also on the, the back of the bag, fold over the chaps right here. But this is just an absolutely stunning, stunning bag. So one of the things that I'm realizing that I'm beginning to gravitate to, to eliminate the possibility of the machete leather being messed up or damaged by water, or just anything, period. I'm gravitating toward toward purchasing handbags from Louis Vuitton that have leather handles or black leather handles. I want to try out pinks and reds. Just leather handles or the leather trims that's outside of the normal vachetta. So these are my two pieces where I where they are trimmed in black, which of course you saw this one earlier, which is a Louis Vuitton fold toe. And when I decided, I said, you know, I want something completely different, something that I do not have in my, my collection of handbags. And this bag made the cut. It made the cut. So I absolutely love this bag. Love this bag. And if you love this bag, go ahead and put a comment in the comment below and let me know how much you like it, okay? Beautiful piece. And so my last piece is my first piece of actual luggage and I've taken this a loose just so it can be open but this is the Louis Vuitton carry-on guys I had this bag on my I had this luggage and have had this luggage on my Pinterest page for such a long time I'll give you all a close-up of it for such a long time and I told my husband, I said, babe, I, I want me some Louis Vuitton luggage. And he's always gonna say, well, baby, get it, get it. He's always gonna say that. But anyway, like I said, this was on my Pinterest page for years and years and years and years. I've only used it once, and this is when we went to go visit my goddaughter and my grandbaby. And we're actually going to visit them again, and I'm gonna be using it again to do that, because this is not something I intend to check. This is always gonna be a carry-on for me, and of course, since we're traveling, we'll be traveling by, by the vehicle. I don't have that to worry about, but when I do travel by plane, this will be my carry-on because this is essentially what it is. Now, of course, this, of course, also comes with the lock to lock up the zipper compartments here. The inside of the bag is just very, 
plain is just the brown textile with a huge open pocket here and of course the the dust bag but very spacious fits a lot it, it literally can fit everything that you would need for a weekend trip and I absolutely love it I'm looking forward to getting more luggage pieces I'm not really concerned about and of course you know it also comes with the luggage tag and like I said, these, this right here it holds the handles together so that they're not flopping all over the place. But I do intend to get some other luggage pieces in the future. So if you stuck with me to the end, I want to say thank you so much. I truly hope that you have enjoyed this Louis Vuitton handbag haul. I know I did. It was so much fun. Stay tuned for future videos. We'll be talking about other handbags, other collections. I know I've mentioned that we'll be talking about some of my vintage pieces and just fashion and handbags in general. Also sprinkling in that business and that lifestyle. So again, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell, like this video, and we'll get to it another time. Thanks.